When evidence is brought into the laboratory, it comes in a sealed bag, signed and dated. It comes with two forms, a request for evidence form and a chain of custody form. These forms need to be filled out in order to keep track of where the evidence is at all times. This is the equipment used for a Toxi Lab. We have the Toxi A discs, the Toxi Lab jar, the Toxi chromatograms, the evaporating well plate, and the disposable wells. Here's more equipment used for the Toxi Lab. We have a heat plate and a UV light. These are the developing solutions. A1 is formaldehyde, A2 is sulfuric acid, and then it's dipped in water, and A3 is the Dragendorf solution. Now the evidence is ready to be opened to be analyzed using the Toxi Lab. A Toxi disc is being placed into the well plate. The Toxi disc is what the sample is held on. Now the evidence is being placed into the well plate so that it can be evaporated off on the heat plate so that the, all the sample will be in the Toxi disc. Now the evaporating plate is being placed on the heat plate to evaporate the solvent. Now the Toxi Theorem is ready to be prepared. The Toxi disc is taken out of the well plate and placed into the Toxi Gram so that it can be analyzed. These solutions are used to develop the toxigram. You have the developing solution and ammonium hydroxide, which are placed into the Toxi Lab jar. Now the toxigram is placed <coughs> into its holding container. Add three milliliters of the developing solution to the Toxi Lab jar. Now add 30 microliters of ammonium hydroxide to the jar, swirl, place the chromatogram into the jar, and cover. When the standard dye spot on the solvent front reaches 0.95, which is approximately 12 to 15 minutes, remove the chromatogram. Now place the chromatogram face down on the warmer for approximately 45 seconds. From this point on, you need to proceed uninterrupted. Take and place the chromatogram into Toxi Dip A, which is formaldehyde, for five minutes. Remove it from the Toxi jar and place it onto the warmer for approximately five seconds. Slowly dip the chromatogram into and out of Toxi jar A2. Then hold it over the jar for approximately 30 seconds until the yellow is visible. A photograph should be taken after each stage. Now dip the toxigram into and out of water so that you can bring out the colors. Now view the toxigram under a UV light to see if any of the compounds fluoresce. Next we're going to dip the toxigram into and out of the toxi jar A3 for approximately 10 seconds. Now it is time to analyze your toxigram. You should note the RF value and then compare it to known standards. Now it is time to seal up the evidence. You should write your initials and date on a piece of evidence tape, place the evidence back into its original bag, seal the bag, and place the evidence tape over the top of the bag to secure it. Now the chain of custody form is signed again and handed back over to law enforcement.